challenge with uh, mobile uh, operators delivering quality of service uh, to their subscribers uh, has become a challenge in the recent, recent couple of years. Um, the challenge has been um, as they grow uh, or move from 2G networks to 3G networks to 4G networks, they found out that the end user is ever more demanding um, the, where they actually want to experience uh, much quality uh, of service. Some of the um, the challenges also is this government mandates where they're benchmarking operators against each other to see who's actually got a faster network and they're publishing that information. When that information gets published, um, the, the things that the customers are seeing, there's a churn rate happening. Churn rate translates to lower subscriber numbers. Uh, where F5 is coming in, um, F5 is very much application fluent. Uh, they sit in the heart of the mobile network. Uh, they do not discriminate against any applications. Uh, they look at the IP traffic, and by looking at the IP traffic, uh, they are able to um, optimize the traffic so that the end users uh, experience a much better uh, experience through the network. A lot of the operators are asking at the moment, how do we actually improve our network for benchmark testing? As I said before, um, customers or the uh, mobile operators are seeing that um, there's uh, government mandated policies to benchmark the um, networks. There's also magazines that actually go out and do testing and publish results. For example, Australia, uh, where there's a, a company that goes out and, and tests the three network operators and see which one will actually perform. And we've been asked to come in and provide support to optimize the network so that we improve the benchmarking results. In some examples, um, we've seen traffic double, so moving from 40 megabits per second to over 120 megabits per second on LTE networks. In the past, what the operators had in front of them as a tool set to improve um, quality of experience was to actually try and maybe look at video. What's happened in the past uh, several months, video has become encrypted. It's become invisible. You cannot encrypt, you cannot uh, do, perform any type of uh, optimization on video uh, because now the devices are blind to that. So it became more apparent that you need to try and optimize from a TCP layer. Uh, and that's where F5 comes in. F5 helps. We've got uh, several patents in terms of how we optimize and, and how we uh, tune the network for both the quality of experience and more importantly the, the benchmarking results that they expect. So we've been successful in that one. In terms of our products, um, we generally uh, have a product that sits in the heart of the network on the GI uh, or SGI in 4G networks. The product itself is called Policy Enforcement Manager, PEN for short. Um, this can provide several use cases. TCP optimization is one of those uh, first use cases that customers usually deploy. Uh, and on top of that, you can then add some several other use cases because we provide some, uh, you know, uh, quality of um, experience. Plus, we become subscriber aware by talking to their policy server or their online charging system. Um, having subscriber awareness then allows us to do some other stuff, like, for example, collecting information about what the subscriber is doing, looking at the quality of experience and reporting that to a system that, for example, big data. Now, we, we've we come to a stage where customers and users um, don't actually need to go and communicate to the operator about the bad experience they have. The operators potentially with big data and our equipment, customers can actually predict their quality of experience or how bad or how good the experience is for the subscribers.